so we want to talk about can today's Gynax be as good as its past? Mm-hmm. Um, and I, for one, I was a fan of the studio, is a little, a little worried about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if you saw Wish Upon the Pleiades, it's just kind of, eh, eh. yeah. It's <laughs> it's such a bizarre show too because it's like made in partnership with Subaru. Like the car company, huh. yeah, yeah, okay. um, and they're it was sponsored name. by yeah. Subaru. They made that pretty obvious. Like the yeah. protagonist's name is Subaru. Oh, <laughs> wow, that means no. pretty on the nose. Rezero, uh, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 His yeah. name is Subaru. Um, he drives a Subaru. He works at Subaru. I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's uh, just super heavy-handed. I'm not even going to try this. <laughs> yeah, um, um, and it was very, eh. it's just bland. Um, and that was a shame. what did it have to do with the constellation, if uh, anything? There's they're, they're magical girls. Subaru. They're magical girls. Oh. Okay, and they're just wishing upon stars and stuff. Um, and that's something generally I thought, oh yeah, I'll be into this. But I just kind of got bored with it after the first few episodes. It just wasn't really for me. Yeah, mm. um, which is a shame because that was like one of their first um, original anime since thing, Penny and Stocking Guard Belt. Mm-hmm. And I think when you look at Guy Next, a lot of the stuff they really excel at is the original stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what's memorable because they are so bizarre. Um, if yeah, their at, their original stuff is super, super good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so and I was out there. really hoping it'd be kind of a good thing. And it, I think people like it. It's just, <laughs> meh. Yeah. It that's a shame. I mean, a lot of that does have to do, I mean, we, we'll, we'll get to that, but like people who, who leave, like when you don't have the same creators, you're you lose some of their influence, right? Like you lose yeah. what they brought to the table. Mm-hmm. It's right. not like a, the studio name isn't what um, comes up with the ideas. It's the creative minds sure. at the studio. To so. make a to make a like a parallel to say Square Enix, yeah. SquareSoft and Square Enix are not the same company. Most of the people who founded Square and SquareSoft are gone. Square yeah. Enix is using the same franchises but in different ways. So I yeah, think the same right. with Gynex, where it's not going to be the same. Stuff that they did back in the day. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so Shoji Sayaki directed that. Which part of the pol- Pilates? Pilates. Pilates. Which part of the Pilates? Every time I saw that, I was like, Pilates. It's like, no, that's not Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> the Zumba, let's go. Which part of the Pilates? Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it now. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not an anime where all the girls are named like Pilates, <laughs> yoga. Yoga. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he's he's been with the studio for a long time. He's worked a lot of other things there mm-hmm. too. That are, um, manga adaptations mostly, mm-hmm. um, and he helped a little bit with Ethel Seal. So there are like still people there, um, but let's go to the people who left, who mm-hmm. really Ooh. made like Gainax's name yeah. a big thing. Mm-hmm. Um, first, Hide- Hideaki Ano. If you don't mention him, mm-hmm. what's wrong with you? Yeah. There's, there's a problem here. Um, so if you don't know him, he is responsible for the craziness that is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Mm-hmm. Um, he worked on Gunbuster, his and her circumstances, and if you didn't know, right now he's working on the new Godzilla movie. In is that going to have a lot of religious oh. symbolism and Probably. heavy-handed things? Yeah. Oh. Is he going to be okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want an it's Evangelion kind of like ending for that. Oh. I'm a little oh worried gosh. about him. <laughs> yeah. um, so he left in 2006 to do his own thing at Studio Kara, so that's his studio that he works at, and he took his protege with him, um, Kazuya Tsurumaki, who did FLCL. Mm-hmm. And so them two have branched off to do their own thing, and they are producing the rebuild of Evangelion series, which is the new movies. And we'll get a little bit more into that later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and man, like he did, Hideaki did so much yep. for Gainax. Um, Evangelion, man, that's just the <laughs> thing, <laughs> right? Like, it's one get of those, in the robots. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of those watershed anime, right? right. Like it's kind of what Final Fantasy, yeah, Final Fantasy again for some reason, but it's one of those watershed moments. Because you're Megan Sullivan. Because I'm Megan yeah. Sullivan. Exactly. <laughs> Why? What else would it be? But um, it made people realize that anime can take on more intellectual, heavy, serious themes, mm-hmm. and that it doesn't have to be just capital A anime. That it can be very thought provoking, mm. and also very lucrative in terms of merchandising because yeah. they went all out with the merchandising of Evangelion and made a lot of money off of it because p- fans love Evangelion. It's always in like the top ten yeah. anime. You always see uh, Eva characters like in cosplay too. Like, yeah. Like, to this day, like at Fanime, <laughs> you're seeing them. You're like, yeah, you oh. still see statues. You still NG. see, yeah. all right, yeah, they yeah. still come out with stuff. And yeah. if you go to Japan, you'll you'll find Ava stuff still everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. they, oh, had, you know. they had they had new big. <laughs> I found yeah. a lot of those. They had new <laughs> figures at Dealers Hall at Fanime too. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah. yeah. And a big part of that, of course, is the rebuild series, is revitalizing yeah. and more merchandise with that. Um, mm-hmm. But it's just got such, legs. Yeah, it's <laughs> got long legs. It's sad legs. to see when great creators like depart from like their 
you know, original studio. But at the same time, it's cool to see what they want to do next. Mm-hmm. Oh, totally. Um, and then next, we have two creators who left in 2011 to make Studio Trigger. Personal favorite. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Hiroyuki Imashi, or Imaishi, sorry. Um, he directed Gurren Lagann and Penny and Stock- Stocking with Garter Belt. And Masahiko Otsuka, he directed some of the FLC episodes and wrote scripts for episodes of, and directed some of the episodes for Gurren Lagann and Penny and Stocking. Mm-hmm. And I think they were like the later later trigger years is like you feel the original influence of Hideaki in the beginning where it was like more thought later Gynax kind years of, um, yeah yeah Gynax years this is just Oops. Like, it's all right <laughs> yeah so a lot of overlap yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah so early Gynax years was Hideaki's time and then later ones was their time yeah mm-hmm. and you really see that influence on the anime they had yeah um, and having them leave it's just kind of like, okay, who's next? Right, like, like what? what's going to fill the the hole that they left? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's funny because um, every time I think about Trigger and Gynax, I thought they were the same. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh. Well, yeah, I mean, when well, you this watch... this makes sense. Yeah, yeah. When you watch Kill a Kill and you're like, this is like Gurren Lagann, but in an alternate universe, yeah. sort of. <laughs> like, you get you get so much of the feel of mm-hmm, Gurren Lagann yeah. from it. Um, then, it's hard. It, like, when you, you don't know the inside baseball of anime like it's easy to see it's easy to see them as the same totally. right they're the influence is obvious um <laughs> but yeah makes sense now yeah yeah <laughs> and with going on gone to it for a long time i was like oh that was done by trigger i was like oh no yeah. that's still gynax I was like, man it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> One of the last few things said um but yeah just kind of looking forward not not uh, really feeling it. Gunex doesn't have a lot of things listed right now as for upcoming works. Um, mm-hmm. One of their most recent things was their Fukushima branch did a commercial series for a bank. Um, <laughs> hey, okay. Yeah. Hey, gotta make anime, money. No, anime commercials can be <laughs> great if you saw the McDonald's anime commercial because... That was actually really great. That <laughs> was like, like it had lesbians, it was anime, really? it was about... I, I just decided they were. Uh. <laughs> and it was big. It had everything. It had it covered all the bases. <laughs> it had a story. It, was, it looked that up. So, so don't, I'm not knock. I mean, we'll banks... Do, uh, episode on the best. The anime best anime commercials. Best. There's really um, good one about bread. Yeah. Oh. yeah, bread company. Oh, and then like it's not anime, <laughs> but the panda cheese commercial. Yeah. So, um, but that, so I'm Japanese not. Commercials are just the best. Not Period. knocking the Fukushima Bank commercial. I have a feeling banks are a little more boring than McDonald's and but cheats. <laughs> it goes to the point of they did have financial issues back right. in the day because of some sketchy stuff, and yeah. so I feel like the reason maybe they're turning to stuff that's a little safer mm-hmm. and blander. Which is too bad for us because their original stuff is so unique and original. Yeah, right. But it's like stay the safe course of things that you can more easily push in merchandise. Yeah. Which ties back into conversations we've had before, where it's like people need fund? to have a Subaru yeah. commercial in uh-huh. their anime to pay for it because they get no money. Yeah, I mean that's a good point, Megan. Is like uh, they might have to stay the course a little while to recover from you know previous indiscretions yes and um and you know do the kind of okay here's how we fund ourselves and then and i I think that even if the creators have left there is potential for in the future something good to come out of that um because a lot of times like like you brought up with final fantasy like you can you can keep the spirit of the people that were there before you and make it your own and do something different but still good and and fitting in with um, what the the studio or the developer or whoever has done before. So I wouldn't write them off completely. It right. seems like right now they're just kind of like, all right, okay, did the Subaru <laughs> check clear? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like they're going to check to clear, and then they're going to do another yeah. fully coolie type anime, I hope. Yeah, yeah. there's always uh, those ones you have to do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's the money. I mean, we encounter that sometimes. That it's I mean, like ten for you, one for me. Ten for you, one for me. I mean, sometimes you're you're like, all right, I'll write this, I'll write this top ten list, and I'll do my best, and I'll have as much fun with it as I can, and then I'll come on in and make club, and I'll talk about Gynex. <laughs> That's right. I'm there curious how many Gynex references are in that commercial. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. the bank commercial. Yeah. <laughs> like, come to our bank. <laughs> like yelling, get in the bank. Get in the bank, Shinji. Yeah, get great, Shinji, yeah. get in the bank. <laughs> no, That'd be the dad. best. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got a guy next ending and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. So I think right now all they have right now is a film they're 
working on if I, if I saw that right. I think it was on Wikipedia. Mm. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if next they do another ma- manga adaptation or something. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, the flow of things. But yeah. we shall see. Hope for them. Mm-hmm. So let us know what you guys think about Guy Next. Where do you think they're going? What's going on with them? Um, where can now. they do that? Oh, you can email us at IGN underscore Anime Club at IGN.com with questions, comments, concerns. Or Hopefully not concerns. You can talk to us on a Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash IGN Anime Club called the IGN Anime Club official group. We have a lot of great conversations there mm-hmm. and yeah. some good memes. A lot of mm-hmm. good support. Thank you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the comments over the weekend. I really appreciate that. I'm still not able to like absorb all the love. So thank you. Our Facebook <laughs> group is the best.